everybody and welcome back. Today we're looking at a compilation of the funniest keywords out there. We got a drill sergeant, we got a zombie, and we got a lady who really wants some fries. Okay, so this clip is like from a decade ago. Basically, these guys are recording themselves like skateboarding at a Dairy Queen parking lot, and the former manager of the Dairy Queen is not too happy about it. For some reason, a lot of people have like camera phobia where basically they just think they're being recorded all the time. And even though these guys were actually recording themselves, she got really mad about it. She thought she was the one being recorded and as a result flips out. Now a little bit of a screaming warning, I, I don't really know how any human being has such powerful vocal cords, but take a look. Get off the steps now! I want the camera out! Who gave you permission? I need your name! Who gave you permission to film? Get off the steps! If you don't shut up... <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to understand the situation. I've had it with you photographers. Is she like a runway model? People are like always just chasing after her. Are you Kim Kardashian? Are you Zendaya or something? You can't leave the house without people going snap and snap. Now it seems like there's something wrong with her vocal cords. For some reason, throughout this like three or five minute clip, she does not tone it down a second. Somehow it's full blast screaming all the time. I don't even know how that's possible. My throat hurts just listening to her. No, you just did an illegal phone then you always work here alone what's your name and number norma k i'm tired of being beat up by people by photographers who use the photos against people okay it seems like she has some sort of a history with photographers and like people taking pictures of her and i don't know twisting the story i don't know if she was like a youtuber before she got exposed on the internet or something i really like the passion behind her voice like if she was auditioning to be a k-word i i think she'd get the spot and you threaten me you come here all the time! I have never been here in my life. That's a lie! I swear to God. That's a lie! That's a lie, you skateboarder! I've seen your kind around, roaming around my Dairy Queen at night. You guys think you're above the law, huh? You ain't nothing. I'm mama manager here. I'm gonna scream in your face. Dude, imagine if this chick was like your middle school teacher. I would never be able to sleep at night. Just this drill sergeant's voice echoing in my head. She's the type of person to traumatize your five-year-old. Now, this next part's really funny. She actually has a conversation with them, right? But then this entire time, she doesn't stop screaming. Screaming. It's so funny that they're like, what's your name? She's like, it's Betty. <laughs> like you could be having a regular conversation with her, right? Like, how was your day? She'd be like, it was good. <laughs> I can't even emulate the screaming. It's so good. You remember seeing me? Yeah, I do. You're a liar. You're a liar. No, I'm not. Liar. I have never been here in my life. That's a lie. What's your name? I'm what's your not. card? Yes, I am. You come every couple of years to take illegal, illegal photographs. What's your name? Is this some sort of like long built rivalry that I don't know about? You, the Dairy Queen manager versus the skateboarders? She said you come every few years. This is like a bi yearly event or something. So just imagine this like every couple of years, uh, a couple of skateboarders show up at your Dairy Queen parking lot and take pictures of you as if you're some like special species they can only capture every leap year. I'm starting to think she's making up stories and she's being a little cuckoo, okay? Also, did anybody else think that? That was the cutest thing ever. Like, you're a liar. No, I'm not. Did I just imagine that everyday conversations with this woman are just fantastic? Jimmy, did you take your lunch today? Yes, mommy. Good job, Jimmy. I want the film. I want the camera. Tell me. Because you're not allowed to trespass away from me. What did we do wrong? You're one trespassing. Two illegal photographs. Three, you're not allowed. Boy, you would yell that! Okay, so she just listed out the wrong things that the skateboarders are doing. So let's just go over this list, right? Number one, trespassing. Now, it's a Dairy Queen parking lot. I, I don't think anybody cares. Number two, illegal photographs. I mean, it's a public place. I, I don't know what you're talking about. And then she just kind of ran out of reason. She said, number three, not allowed. <laughs> you don't understand. You're just not allowed. I say so. And number four is the best. You are getting yelled at. As if that's justification for anything. Like, doesn't that make you right in every argument because you're the one just yelling at people? 24 7. I don't know why I'm trying to understand the situation. It's clear like a uh, an alien zombie has taken over this woman's brain. Grow up real quick, stop yelling. You grow up! You're illegal photographers! Get out! 
out! No, you grow up! Dude, genuinely, how has she not stopped screaming? I, like, round of applause. Like, your vocal cords are dead after this. Jeez. I've never met anyone this dedicated to their craft. <laughs> Get off now! It's illegal photography! Sorry for the hassle. No, you're not! You're doing a dance! Who are you? Something to stop it! Can you imagine standing in front of this woman and having a conversation? You would be having a shower. You know that one SpongeBob meme where they just spit to talk? That's literally her. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, there's a woman who gets caught doing something very, very bad and very illegal. And her solution to get out of the situation is to pretend to be a zombie. Yeah, people are evolving. Hey, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Back up. Back up. Back up. Dude, people are so creepy, my god. So if you don't understand what's going on here, it's the classic, you know, you, you get caught doing a crime, and then you pretend to be insane, as if, like, okay, you're not mentally sound, so that you, you lose the charges, right? But, you know, uh, it's pretty clear she's acting. I don't really want to play the full clip, it's just her making a bunch of zombie noises. But, yeah, eventually the story goes is that she doesn't really want to get in the car, so they have to, like, push her head in and then tase her or something. I mean, I guess if you get caught doing something illegal, just pretend to be a zombie. Okay, moving on to a Twitch streamer, basically, this this person got some burnt fries and went batshit insane. She's sitting in her car just continually honking and honking, getting so annoying, demanding fresh fries to these fast food employees. And she's so obsessed with her fries, she starts comparing her burnt fries with like the employee eating inside. It's the most wild thing ever, dude. Yeah, I asked for fresh fries. He, he looked in the bag. He took out the fries and then he gave me burnt fries. First of all, you should put your hand in my damn bag. Okay, so the employee gave her the fries and put it in her bag, and she's like, stop touching my bag. W what the hell do you want him to do? How else does he give you your order? Just use his mind levitation powers, move the fries into your bag? Yeah, well, I asked for fresh fries, and I got burnt fries, so I don't want my money back, but can you take these fries back and give me a couple of value tacos, please? Easy meat. <laughs> I feel like it's such a crime that every driver on the road has a honk button. This- that should not be a thing. With the amount of absolute man babies floating around, who thought it was a good idea to give people the honk button? Like, this person goes out of their way to be just incredibly, incredibly annoying. Like, what the hell is honking gonna do? You think they're just gonna start going faster? They're going as fast as they can. They're literally fast food employees. They literally have to fulfill the orders before they move, so stop honking. How come your fries is fresh? Look at his fries. Nah, hell no. Nah. See what I'm saying? How come my fries look old and his fries look fresh? This ain't right. No, nah, employee fries is fresh and mine ain't. Look, let me see your fries. Move your hand. Look at your fries. Your fries is nice and look at that. That's ridiculous. Nah. Hey guys, my fries look a little brown. It's just unacceptable. Like literally over the most minuscule things. How do these people exist? Like imagine going in a restaurant, you know, picking up somebody else's fries from the table and being like, hmm, these, these fries, my, your fries a little bit bigger, couple inches. My fry seems to be a little more brown. I don't think I like this. How do these people exist, man? Make your own fries, goddammit. Hey, hey, yo, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, let's just use some common sense here. Why the hell would you get a refund after honking like a maniac and being the most trashy person imaginable? You're literally going out of your way to annoy everybody. I mean, you have to be nice to expect nice things like a refund. It's so stupid. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.